This is a short demonstration of how to use the Ergo Baby Infant Insert with a newborn. You need the insert to carry your baby from birth until four to six months old, or until your baby displays strong head and neck control and can be seated in an ergonomic frog-legged position. Meet Johanna and baby Lucy, who are happy to show you how to use our new infant insert with a newborn baby in the front inward carry position. For this version, you will need to be standing with a flat surface available. To put on the carrier, begin by sliding the waist belt around your waist. Thread the buckle through the safety loop before buckling. The carrier should rest on your hips in a straight line and be centered on your body. Tighten the waist belt. Loosen both shoulder straps and the chest strap. You're now ready to place your baby inside. Begin by placing your infant insert on a safe, flat surface. Now take your baby and carefully lay her on the infant insert. Her butt should rest comfortably on top of the removable pillow. You can fasten the swaddle strap so that your baby stays cozy. This also makes it easier to load the infant insert into the carrier. Make sure her arms are resting in a natural position with her hands free for self-soothing. Gently pick up your baby. Place her tummy to tummy, making sure to hold the infant insert to your body with your hand just beneath the pillow. Check your baby's legs to make sure that they are in an ergonomic frog-legged position. Holding the infant insert with one hand, use your other hand to grab the top of the back panel of the carrier and pull it up over your baby. Slide your hand down between the infant insert and the carrier to ensure that your baby is placed deeply inside the carrier. Nestle the infant insert down into the carrier seat. Check again and make sure that your baby's legs are in the proper position with their calves at the sides of the insert. Then slide your arms one at a time through the shoulder straps. Reach behind your neck to fasten the chest strap. Hold the back panel in one hand and lift up slightly to distribute your baby's weight. Tighten the shoulder straps one at a time and then tighten both of them together until you feel comfortable. Make sure both straps are the same length. Now unsnap the swaddle strap of the infant insert. Pull the material of the insert out of the sides of the carrier to increase airflow. You can snap the optional straps on the side of the infant insert around the carrier's shoulder strap webbing. Next, pull the padding of the infant insert up to the hollow behind your baby's knees in order to fully support her thighs, like a little chair. If necessary, adjust the positioning of her legs again. To add extra head and neck support, locate the top ridge of the infant insert and fold it over. Simply snap it down to secure. We want to make sure that your baby is as comfortable and as well supported as possible. So, before you go, your baby should be in a frog-legged position with his thigh supported and his back slightly curved. Check that your baby's head and neck are supported too. Make sure that your baby's airways are clear. You should be able to fit two fingers between her chin and chest. And finally, double check that the chest strap is in the middle of your shoulder blades. This makes sure that you stay just as comfortable as your baby. Now you're ready to go. It's just that easy. To remove your baby from the carrier, first place your hand over the back panel to support your baby and slightly lift up the carrier to take the weight off the shoulder straps. You can then loosen the shoulder straps and open the chest strap. Still holding the carrier at the back panel, Slip off the shoulder straps one at a time. Then use the infant insert to hold your baby. Let the carrier slide down your body. Find a safe place to put your baby down, and you're all done. Our infant insert works with any of our Ergo Baby carriers. Check out our other videos for more information on how to best use the infant insert and carrier as your baby grows.